All right, I got a new tripod, so. All right, I got a new tripod. Hold on. So, let me turn the volume down. Echoing. Yeah. Like reverberating. Okay, turn the other one down. So now let me hook you guys up to my new tripod here. See if we can get this going. Are you live? Yep. Uh, do we have plans for tomorrow or other than picking the girls up? Uh, we'll talk about this later. Okay, I want to show you guys my new key keyboard. I am very comfortable doing lives on Facebook. But, um, not as much on YouTube, you guys, so bear with me a second. I'm trying to, um, get some better lighting going here for y'all. I got the Archon tripod, and it's where I can watch it on my tablet. So, just bear with me because I'm new to this format. But, this is the new key keyboard. It is a mechanical keyboard. It's got the nice clicky to it. I wanted to talk a little bit about this keyboard because it's really grown in popularity and I wanted to talk about my experience with it. I hope you guys can hear me and everything. Um, I don't know... Oh, someone said they love it. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm new to this, so just bear with me. Okay, so I really like the keyboard because you can connect it via Bluetooth or USB, and it has one on the left or the right, which is really nice. Um, first off, let's talk about ordering. I will, when this is over, if I'm able to, I will list the website below, but it's new key. Um, it took months to get this. Don't go by what the website says. I don't care what it says. That is not correct. Um, when I ordered mine, I think I ordered in early April, and it said would ship mid-April. That continued to change to late April, to early May, to mid-May, to late May. Um, I did email them, and I want to say the gentleman's name was like Henry or Max. He was really nice, and, and I always did get an email back very quickly. It didn't take long. I just think that these got very popular very quickly, and they couldn't fulfill orders on them. But there's always a backlog to get them. And when I was on Instagram, I noticed other, um, other people having the same issue. So just keep in mind that if you guys are going to get this, you're going to have to wait. I don't care what they say. You're going to have to wait. So let me show you guys how to turn it on. So you just press the power key. And there's all kinds of different light settings to it. It's really, really fun. This thin metal piece comes out. But this is so you can put a tablet or a phone there. And I do use it for that. It's really, really nice. You connect it via Bluetooth by pressing the FN and the Bluetooth button. But let me show you guys. I've got the manual. I have it just set to where it lights up when I press a button. But I wanted to show you guys um, how to change it. Let me see. Because it's really, really cool. The, um, the different options. Let me see. FN boy I feel like a noob doing this oh there it is okay so you can make it do this do a slower motion kind of faster all over this one's really neat in person uh, slow kind of gradient waves moving along the keyboard. This one, it'll just stay lit all the time. And I'm just pressing the F in and the delete button. And then this is, <coughs> excuse me, kind of ripples like when you touch it. And then the next one is the setting. I had it on where it just kind of 
lights up as you type. I have it on this one mainly to save battery and stuff like that. I mean, but there's a lot of different options with this. Now, over here, this will turn the volume up on whatever device it is connected to. The one thing is the stock picture on the website shows that the wheel would have a um, the same kind of chrome pink right here, and it does not. doesn't have that. This over here, this is not metal. This is metal. This is plastic. But this lets you toggle between Bluetooth or USB. So let's say you have a phone and then you have a laptop. By clicking that, it will switch you between the devices. So that's what that button does there. But I really, really, really love this keyboard. Um, I will put a code once I go back. I will put a code down below. If you guys want to order this, I think if I refer you, you get like $10 off. And that's how I ordered mine was from another YouTuber and she had a code. So if you guys are interested, I will put that down below. But I thought I would just share with you. I'm actually just practicing on my new tripod to see if I like this setup or if I want to send this back. So right now I'm just kind of playing around. So if you guys are watching and I'm not being super exciting, I apologize. But I uh, just thought I'd show you guys something while I'm playing around with my tripod set up here just to see if this is something that I would like. If you guys have any questions, you can put those in the chat. Thank you, Layin SS, for being with me while I'm being boring and trying out this keyboard. The quality is, is pretty good. It has some weight to it. It's not super light and flimsy like some of the Bluetooth ones off of Amazon. And then if you flip it over, it's got multiple silicone feet. So it does not slide around at all. I was impressed when I unwrapped it with the weight of it. It, it really does not feel cheap. The only thing that feels super cheap here would be this toggle and the volume button. But everything else feels really nice. I've had this for a month and a half, I think. The box that came in was really, really pretty. Everything was packaged nicely. Once they dispatched it and shipped it, I'm here in the U.S., it took maybe a week to get it after it shipped out. Not long at all, actually. So, I'm really, I've been enjoying it. This is actually what I've been editing my videos on. Typing things in the description bar. The only thing I've noticed that it doesn't do, if I'm on Facebook, I can type statuses and comments and things like that. But if I'm in Facebook Messenger, it won't let me type in there, which is actually where I need it the most. So if anyone has this keyboard and knows why that is, please let me know. I would really appreciate that. Anyway, I'll show you guys again, like some of the aesthetics of it. And it lights up right here. Uh, the other thing I want to mention that some people have been doing, there is a app. There's some apps you can get. So your iPad or your tablet or your phone will actually look like you're typing on a typewriter. And it works with this keyboard. So um, I think as you hit a button, it actually like moves it back over to the right and starts you over again. Anyway, there's some apps that do that. It is really, really fun. I just got in, you guys, some new faux memo papers. So I'm going to be having a new video on that if you guys have watched my little thermal printer videos. That has become really popular. So I got some new papers for us to try out as well as I have had this retro radio on my desk and I just got another one because my daughter's pretty much taken over my first one. So I'm going to be showing you guys this in an upcoming video. As well as, I bought a Studebaker retro radio. As you guys know, I love anything like from the 50s or the 60s. I love that retro aesthetic. So anyway, if you love this keyboard, let me know. I just thought I would, I just thought I'd put that out there because I see so many people overseas reviewing this, but not a ton of people from the U.S. So. If you're going to order it, just be prepared to wait unless something has changed. 
just be prepared for the wait. But it, it is worth it once you get it. It's super cool. I uh, catch my kids coming in here and trying to type on here um, all the time. It is very aesthetically um, satisfying to type on. I sewed. I'll tell you what I did for mine. I sewed a little cover. I just sewed a little like pillowcase sleeve for it. And when I'm done with mine, I turn it off. You just press the power for a few seconds. Sometimes it gotta hold it down. So now it's off. And I just had this pink fabric. And I was worried about dust. I like to keep my stuff as nice as I can. So I just slide it in, tuck it under, and because I've got fans going in my house, dust, the whole thing. So anyway, this is how I keep it. And it keeps it nice and pretty there. So, there we go. All right. Well, I have some videos planned for you guys. If there's anything you want to see, let me know. I have tons of tea sets piled up. Um, tons of lots of stuff. I've got some winnings right here. You probably can't see. <laughs> Sitting right there that I need to finish filming. Um, I am on Instagram a lot. I've just kind of had to take a break due to some personal things we've had going on. But other than that, you know, I will be back. I just wanted to test this live out, test the setup. If you guys could hear me okay and see me okay, please let me know down below. And I will see you guys very soon.